Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and I'm going to show you how to take all your photos and turn them into one width or one height. In this case, though, I'll do one width. And why would you want to do that? Well, say you're a web designer and you needed all your photos a certain width so the page looks good, or maybe you're going to do a print layout and you need your photos to be one width just for that print layout. So I'm going to show you how to do that and let's get started. So here I have a page and I just created it. It's a document and let's see, I'm going to see the size. In pixels, it's 900 wide by 250 long. So 900 and I want to fit three photos across and I want them to fit exactly. So that would mean that I would have to make all my photos 300 wide. This is easy if you want to do one, two, or three photos. But what if you had hundreds of photos and you wanted to do that? Well, let me show you how. I'm going to open three photos. Now, it could be hundreds of photos, but I'm just going to open three just to show you. And I'm going to take all three, holding Shift and saying Open. And I'm going to show you each photo. So on this photo, document size is... 3,500 pixels to width. So I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to delete it. Not delete, it. I'm going to close it. And then this one document is 6,000 pixels. So I'll close that one. And where's the other one? There we go. And this document, 2,784 pixels, that, that one. So I'll cancel that and I will close that. So I want all three to fit here. So all I need to do is go to File, New Batch Job. Now you can add batch jobs right down here. I'm not doing that. Like they have skip metadata, black turn to black and white, flip, vertical, horizontal. You can do that in macros. This is not about macros. This is about the default and this is exactly what it comes with. And all I need to do is I'm not even going to save it in Affinity Photo. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And I want my widths because I'm doing 900 width page. I want my widths to be 300. So 300 times 3 is 900. And that's the only one I have to worry about. And I don't want to save it in the same place because it's going to overwrite it. So I'm going to save it. Instead of in that folder, I'm going to add a new folder. And I'm going to call it 300W. Call it anything you want. And say OK. And we are done. So now all I have to do is add and go to the ones I'm talking about. These are the three I opened up before. I'll open that up. And now, again, you can have a 100 of these. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you three as an example. It doesn't even have to be in one folder as long as you keep adding them. So when I'm ready, I just say OK. And nothing seems to happen because it was only three and my computer is pretty fast. I have a MacBook Pro. So all I need to do is go back into that folder. Let me find it. And there's the 300W we just created. I'm going to take each one of these and place it on my document. And I'll close my finder. And you put them in any order you want, but watch this. If you have snapping turned on, They're exactly 900 because now each each one of these is 300 a piece. So let's say you had 100 photos or something, and let's say your page was bigger. It's a, if it was a website page or even just a paper page, right? So you can just, let's say the page was bigger. Let's just say there's more than one photo. I'm just going to duplicate. Control, Command, J. Let's just assume maybe this one went over here now. I'm going to snap that into place, and if you had another photo that came in like that, and maybe another photo came in here, oh, wrong one, and maybe another photo, actually this photo we can go here, and then say this photo here, and you'll, you get the idea. So you, are, you ever see those photo pages where they all look so nice? Well, this is a nice way to do photo pages and on paper I mean so if you want to print something that looks like a photo page but remember if your printer doesn't print to the end then instead of 900 you got to leave yourself a margin 
but this is an example simple example it took very short time to take each photo and I could have turned them into instead of 300 width I could have turned them into exact length I could have done many many different things so I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did please click like and subscribe and have a great day thank you bye